Hello everyone, we have a very special and unique video for you tonight. The top six best bars at Universal Orlando theme parks. So parents, put the kids to bed. It is time for Rich Flicks After Dark. Okay, a couple of disclaimers. First off, it's not dark now, but it will be. It's <laughs> getting dark. Soon enough. We had to get here early enough to see one of my favorite bartenders. He gets off at five. <laughs> you don't want to miss it. And then the second thing is, Universal classifies Volcano Bay as a theme park. Mm -hmm. I do not. I say it's a water park. And then the other thing to note is, we are not including City Walk. This is just the theme parks of Universal Orlando and Islands of Adventure. Now, we can get started. Can't get enough of that wonderful Duff? Grab an icy cold glass of Homer's favorite suds and relax. Duff Brewery at Universal Studios Florida. The open air bar, Duff Brewery Beer Garden. Cool off for a while as you watch your favorite Simpsons clips on a flat screen TV. See topiaries of the beloved characters of the Seven Duffs. Here is a pro tip. You see this long line, this long queue of people waiting to order their Duff beer? Well, if there are seats available at the bar, take a seat and you'll get served quicker. Which is what we did. We happen to be here at the time of Dufftoberfest, so I got a Dufftober beer. And once you pick up your beer at the bar, come down like us to the water. And watch the sunset. It's a nice view down here. So as far as what you're going to order here, it's basically Duff beer. But like I said, I am here during Dufftoberfest, so I got a Dufftober beer. Most of the time, it's just going to be a Duff or like a Duff Lights, right? Cheers. It is especially nice during the holidays because London over there is all lit up with Christmas lights. A less well-known fact that should be noted, you can get some frozen cocktails here, such as frozen margaritas, frozen pina coladas, frozen daiquiris. So don't forget about that. And now, if you must have the kids with you, you can get them a Buzz Cola or some other type of soda. Right. Or Squishy. They also have snacks while you're having your Duff beer. Uh, corn dogs or pretzels. Nice. Nice, and squishies come in a variety of flavors, and essentially it's just like a, what, like a... Like a slushy. Like a slushy and icy. Yeah. And of course here in Springfield, there is Moe's Tavern, but we prefer the beer garden. It has the same Duff beers, plus the Flaming Moe's, but we do prefer the outside setting of the beer garden. I mean, don't just take that beer for a walk. Go down by the water, sit for a bit, enjoy. Oh yeah. Shea Alcatraz, Universal Studios, Florida. Located on the docks of Universal's Fisherman's Wharf. Here's a watering hole you're sure to love. Cool down and relax with a cold beer, mixed drinks, and non-alcoholic refreshments. If you're up for a photo op, snap a pic inside the jaws of the massive great white shark hanging next door. Here is a look at the menu. They have specialty cocktails, draft beer, bottled beer, white wine, and red wine. The lowest price item on the menu is $8.50, and the highest price is around, looks like $13. We have two favorites here. One is not on the menu. The one not on the menu, Nikki really loves, is called the Single Rider, but we're not gonna get that this time. We have to order the classic, the classic Ocean Attack. Why? Because it comes with a show. We're getting the classic Ocean Attack for $11.99. Our friend, our bartender, Ashley, will describe what's in it. So the Ocean Attack is coconut rum, blue carousel, pineapple, Sprite, and grenadine. And this is my favorite part because it has a gummy shark in it. So are you ready? We are ready. Are you sure? <laughs> Action. Let's do this. Da 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 oh no watch out there's a shark save to the shark 
You swam too slow. <laughs> Outside of Shea Alcatraz, they do have some picnic tables and benches set up for your seating. Sit down and enjoy your drinks out here. And then over here to the right of the shark, more picnic tables and places for you to sit down and enjoy your beverages. And they do have a non-alcoholic version of that ocean attack called the Shark Friendly. The kiddos can have that one. And then of course the fan favorite, the ocean attack, comes to like $12.71 after tax. One of the big reasons why we like this bar so much is the bar staff. Murph, Ashley, Tatiana, Zach Attack. All of them, so fabulous. I think my next favorite thing that I really like about this one is that it's picture spot is right next door to it. Where's the shark? Yeah, take selfies wait, wait, wait. with your drinks over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finnegan's Bar and Grill, Universal Studios, Florida. Cheers to this cheery Irish establishment. Take a break from the streets of old New York and wet your whistle in this Irish American pub. This traditional Irish American pub is both a lively bar and a full service restaurant, but tonight we are focused on just the pub. So come in, grab a bar stool, and grab a pint. Oh boy, does this place have some drinks. Some of the featured drinks include the Finnegan's G&T, that's gin and tonic, the Prize Fighter, that's John L. Sullivan Irish whiskey, cucumber and sour, various and numerous wines. During the holidays, they do have a holiday special cocktail. And then their signature cocktails, things such as green tea clover, the lucky mulberry, the ring of Kerry, cranberry margarita, and one of my favorite things they do at Finnegan's, they have mixed drafts. So things such as Half and Half, Guinness and Harp, Black Velvet, Guinness and Magners, the Snake Bite, Harp and Magners, the Blacksmith, Guinness and Smithwicks, and my favorite, the Black and Blue. That is a mixture of my two favorites, Guinness and Blue Moon. And then they have all types of bottled beer and other draft beer, so whiskey, scotch, bourbon. So this is the place for you to get some good drinks and cocktails. And my favorite mixed draft, the black and blue, Guinness and Blue Moon. And it's pretty too. It is pretty, it's a pretty drink and it's my two favorites, so I'm so happy they have that here. Now I really like Finnegan's just because it's such a traditional looking bar with, yeah. you know, the polished wood and the brass, it's, you know. It's, it's a pub. It's a pub, yeah. yes. And also the live entertainment that happens periodically oh, yeah, throughout yeah. the day. For sure. I think that that's what makes it, like, most enjoyable for me. And just the atmosphere, the decor, you're right, the live music. Yeah. And you can get some appetizers there. Yeah, which is always a bonus. Yeah. And the bar stuff there is very nice as well. Awesome, yes. All right, and now on to the second half of the list of best bars at Universal Orlando theme parks. The Backwater Bar, Universal's Islands of Adventure. Tucked away beside Confisco's Grill, you'll find an oasis in the form of this tropical watering hole. Trade tales of your day's adventure on the outdoor patio or taking a game on the indoor TV. The Backwater Bar offers a selection of cold drinks, hot appetizers, and more. This hidden hut may just become your new favorite hangout. At the Backwater Bar, you will find bottled beer, draft beer, wine by the glass. The Burr Balloon, Jalapeno Margarita, The Islander, The Raptor Claw, Watermelon Lemonade, Confisco's Margarita, and Sangria. The Backwater Bar, I feel it's underrated, at least by me. Oh no, no, I totally agree. It's so easy to kind of like skirt right around it. I mean, it's in the port of entry, yeah. but as you round the corner to go to Seuss Landing, I mean, a lot of people just walk right by it. Yeah, I mean, it's super centrally located. You would think everybody would stop here, so it's almost like a little hidden gem in the middle of everything, <laughs> you know? But the cool thing about this place, I like the outside patio area. Oh, for sure, and it's great for people watching again. That's what I was gonna say, just grab a, like a seat at the bar that just overlooks the pathway of people walking by. Awesome. Also, maybe you see the Hulk as well. You can at least hear it. I don't think I'm gonna try anything here. I'm saving myself for the other two spots. 
Hogshead in Hogsmeade, Universal's Islands of Adventure. Located in the back of the three broomsticks in Hogsmeade, you may notice the stuffed hog's head hanging over the bar. This pub is located in the back of the three broomsticks. It is the perfect place for a butterbeer, a pumpkin juice, along with domestic and imported beers. The pub's exclusive Hogshead Brew specially drinks wine, spirits, and mixed drinks. Once you order or you receive your drink, take it out to the back patio behind three broomsticks. The seating inside, Hog said, kind of tight, not very, uh, not very much seating. But take it out to the back patio, should be a little roomier for you. Dragon scale, cheers. Okay, so I went with the dragon scale because they had run out. It hadn't been here for a few weeks, I think. Oh, really? So, yeah, yeah. So now okay. it's back, so that's why I got it. Gotcha. So why did this make the list? Why Rick's top six? Well, first of all, we had to include something Harry Potter. Of course. And I do prefer this to say like the Hopping Pot or the Fountain of Fair Fortune. Mainly, I think I like the Hogshead inside. Well, for that, but there's also a huge pull for me from the books. Mm -hmm. You know, Dumbledore's army met there. Yeah. So I kind of love that like aspect of the books and the movies. The pull to um, the Hogshead well, for that's sure. A, that's a very thorough reason. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I like the Hogshead hanging up. Plain and simple. You're a simple kind of dude. I am. The Watering Hole, Universal's Islands of Adventure, a dino drinkery. You'll never know who you'll run into at the Watering Hole, where ice cold refreshments are in high demand, from beer, wine, frozen cocktails, to frozen sodas, and lemonade. This den is here for hydration. Kick back under an umbrella and enjoy a moment at this jungle hut oasis. Specialty drinks served in a souvenir Pilsner, $14. The T.I. Peach, Predator Rocks, Dino Roar, Prehistoric Punch, The Fossilizer, I'll talk more about that later, Birds of Paradise, Leaping Lizards, and the Mai Tai. And then they do have specialty frozen drinks here. Rum Runner, Pina Colada, Wild Berry, Margarita, Guava, Mango Passion, and Strawberry Frozen Specialty Drinks. Let me tell you about that fossilizer, coconut rum, blue carousel, pineapple juice, sour mix, and Sprite. Sounds an awful lot like the ocean attack, doesn't it? They also have draft beer, canned beer, and wine by the glass. You saw it being made, but here's the final product my prehistoric punch in my souvenir cup. Good thing we did this one last. Now I don't have to carry it around all night. We'll just carry it to the car. And the last cheers of the night. And why do we like the watering hole? Well, I, I can tell you why I like it. You tell me that. It's tell us that. Tell well, everybody why you like okay. it. Okay, I will. So it's because of the Jurassic Park music and mm -hmm. the true Jurassic colors it's like stepping in to the movie like yeah. this is where if you visited the original Jurassic Park where you would go this to is get where, a what's his name would be here Dodson Dodson we've got Dodson here <laughs> this is where you would find Dodson probably on Dodson here <laughs> exactly and then also I like kind of the it's kind of tucked away in a, it's a it's a hidden little it is but gym. It's right at the entrance of the Velocicoaster. Yeah. So if you're needing liquid courage, this might be the place to hit it up. <laughs> well, it's as soon as you walk under the arch, the big Jurassic Park arch with the fires on each side, it's just to your left. Correct. It's right here, like the first thing you come across when you enter Jurassic Park. Very convenient. From the Hogsmeade side. That's right. Uh, I like the names of the drinks. Me too. Very creative. Yeah, clever. Now, one of the drinks here they did make, one of the drinks made my Rick's Top 6 adult beverages. Yes, and it was the prettiest beverage of the that whole <laughs> vlog. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box. Yeah. Now that you know the Top 6 best bars, you got to know the Top 6 drinks. So there you go, my friends. Rick's and Nick's Top 6 best bars at Universal Orlando theme parks. The next time you're here, try them out. Let me know which one is your favorite. Yeah. Hard for me to pick a favorite. Me too. I can probably get it down to three. Rick's best top half six. <laughs> but we won't do that tonight. Not tonight. So I guess we'll just say goodnight. And don't miss the magic.
just doing this for fun. Thanks for watching Rachelix. And now, it truly is time to relax. Mwah.